Okay, Max Ender Interferometer. It has uh, pretty much two components. One component is a beam splitter. That's half mirror, half uh, transparent glass. And the other component is a mirror. Now let's just see how these work, how they add phase to the path. Uh, something is on and uh, the main idea there is a physical explanation behind it there are refraction reflections uh, uh, different uh, components of electromagnetic field but you can think about beam splitter and mirror as a black box that uh, just uh, adds some phase to the light incoming to it now how it works when the light comes into the beam splitter it can be either it can either go through it and then the phase it picks up is zero it doesn't pick up any phase or it can be reflected and if it's reflected it picks up pi over two phase yeah, it gets rotated by 90 degrees in this space of phase now with mirror it's only one opportunity the light can be reflected and upon reflection, it gets a phase of pi. Now let's try to see how the Max Ender interferometer works as we draw it and uh, draw all the phases. So we've got first beam splitter, we've got mirror, we've got another mirror, and then the second beam splitter on which things get recombined. Yeah. Now let's let's have our laser. That shines the light through. I start with the light of black color just before. Yes, and now let's see how our paths differ. One of the paths that light can take is to go through the beam splitter one. It wouldn't pick up any phase. To reflect of the mirror, it would pick up phase plus pi. And to pass the second beam splitter like this, it would pick up no phase yes now I will pause the video and you try to think of the other paths that light can take through this system a hint there are four possible paths okay now I continue with drawing all the rest of the paths second path is uh, absolutely the same as the first one passes through the beam splitter still zero phase reflects of the mirror plus pi and then it reflects from the second beam splitter plus pi over two yes third path I'll use some orange color third path is we reflect from the first beam splitter plus pi over two phase reflect of the mirror plus pi phase and go through the beam splitter number two plus zero Yes, and finally the fourth phase, reflect of the first beam splitter, plus pi over 2, reflect of the mirror, plus pi, and then reflect of the second beam splitter, plus pi over 2. It's a little bit messy drawing, but it's drawn in different colors, and uh, you can see the four paths explicitly, and it's very important. I will draw the two detectors. This is detector 1, the 
this is detector 2. You should understand that the light that goes, for example, here is drawn in two paths, but really the, those paths overlap. They co coincide. So they will create interference, like constructive, destructive, we'll look at it. But generally that's it. And another thing that we should remember, what is this phase that light is uh, picking up? It's the phase compared to the free light that would flow just freely somewhere in a straight line. Yes, so each of those uh, paths is referenced to a path of the light that is that has no obstacles on its way and not that n has nothing to infringe on its uh, on its face yes in the next video we will analyze our maxander interferometer and see whether we get uh, something interesting in terms of constructive destructive interference and so on